Did they really see an angel? Some people conclude that it was a spiritual second coming of Christ or sending a message that the end is near. Let us investigate these videos and the shocking sightings. Welcome dear friends to Truth in Bible Prophecy. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video to all. Let us investigate these top 5 mysterious videos. Number 1. Burbank, California Pablo Morales was outside his house in Burbank, California when he saw something strange in the sky. An identified floating object looks like a person descending from the clouds. Mom, it's un hombre. It's un hombre. Jesus, is that you? Oh, what is it? Papa Morales was outside his house in Burbank, California when he saw something strange in the sky. The unidentified floating object looks like a person descending from the clouds. Is that Jesus Christ? In the video, Pablo can be heard telling his family he thinks it's the second coming of Jesus, telling his mother in Spanish, it looks like a man descending closer and closer to the roof. What did Pablo see? Is it Jesus, a manifestation of heavenly angels, or something else? Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Connie Phillips and her daughter was enjoying a nice breakfast at their house and decided to take a video of the bright clouds that seemed to be opening and what they saw next was stunning. They spotted a human figure walking in the clouds followed by another human figure. Netizens believe it to be Jesus Christ and his angels working. Some commented that they are angels working to and fro. This have left people baffled and netizens divided. Can human eyes behold such ministering angels? In China, it was a cloudy day at Beijing when suddenly people on the streets captured this live video of what seems to be angels and a city floating in the clouds. This video surfaced out of China and it looks like their city is floating in the clouds. Of course, we can't verify if the video is real or not, but we have seen things like this before. It was a live video and it instantly went viral. Comments flood and some say it is a sign of the end times. Others say the angel has come to bring death and destruction. They were completely baffled. Is this a warning from above? Number 4. Hoboken, New Jersey Two powerful lights were soared into the clouds as a tribute to lives lost at 9-11. But if you look closer, there is an image on top of the light an image depicting Jesus Christ. Some people think it's an unusual cloud formation. Others see a greater mystery. This video and this photo is now a worldwide sensation. New Delhi, India. This shocking video was filmed in Katube Minar in Delhi. It shows a couple posing for a picture in front of an ancient monument. They had barely stood for the shot when people suddenly started screaming. The camera flashed into the sky to see why everyone glared at the cloud. To their greatest shock, they saw a man flying on the top of the tower. While they wrapped their heads around this bizarre sight, he was flying at a great speed. It was hard to keep track of him. He paused for a minute and returned to the area. When the video was posted on social media, many believed the flying man was Jesus Christ. Some believed that it was an archangel. Unlike other angels on the list, this man did not have wings, but they suspect it was far behind human comprehension. Africa. In this video, we see floating power of levitation. The ceremony seems to be a channeling ritual to voodoo gods of some kind. With the aggressive music and singing, it does not take long that the man appears to be hovering several feet on the ground. The sun is shining brightly and the bright light doesn't illuminate any hidden strings that could be helping to levitate the man. Also, there doesn't appear to be any trees or structure nearby that he could be suspended from. What does the Bible say about the second coming of Christ? What would be the manner of his appearance? We must be careful because demons can also manufacture things seen by human eyes in contrary to the Word of God. 
a museum in Minneapolis called the Walker Art Center held a family-friendly event to summon a demon. Is this really what passes for family-friendly arts and culture today? Dabbling in the black arts? The Walker Art Center held a pagan ritual geared towards family last weekend with a performance called Lilith, the emphatic demon. Demons have a bad reputation, they said, but maybe we're just not very good at getting to know them. An event description reads, The event which took place at Minneapolis Sculpture Garden was part of the Walkers Free First Sundays program and featured artist Tamar Eaton, who creates demon traps. Families are invited to create a vessel to trap the demon that knows them best. Friends, do not fall for these kinds of deception. Here are the solid truths in the Bible about the appearing of Christ in the second coming. Event number one, Jesus will return to this earth in the same manner he left. There are some Christians who believe that Christ's coming will be a spiritual event, but the Bible teaches that the coming of Christ will be a literal event. Here the Bible describes how Jesus ascended to heaven. It says, this same Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Jesus ascended to the sky and he will return in the sky. Event number two. Every eye will see Jesus return. And how many eyes will see Christ when he comes back in glory? Revelation 1 verse 7 says, every eye will see him. Event number three. It will be the loudest event in mankind. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Psalm 50 verse 3 says, Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. No one will accidentally miss it or be able to read about it in the newspaper the next day. Everyone everywhere will hear it. The Lord shouts with a trumpet blast, it will not be a secret coming. Event number four, His coming will open the graves. People that had given their life to Christ and lived a life of obedience to Him will only experience a temporary death. Friends, believers don't die. They just go to sleep waiting for the resurrection. That everyone which seeth the Son and believe it on him may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day event number five his coming will destroy the earth the earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly and it shall fall and not rise again you see friends sin cannot exist in the presence of a holy god Either you will be running to the rocks and mountains or you will be ascending into the air to meet Jesus. Behold, this is our God. We have waited for Him and He will save us. Tell the world that Jesus is coming. Let us gather our families and friends and all that wants to be ready for His soon return. Evaluate our priorities in life and seek first the kingdom of God. Kindly type in the comment section eternity with my Jesus. Kindly share this video and may we continue to teach truth in Bible prophecy.